All right. Now we're doing free code camp, JavaScript algorithms and data structures beta. Learn basic JavaScript by building a role playing game. Step 66. All right. So following the same pattern as we did for the button text, we're going to update the three buttons on click assignments to be first, second and third values. Pardon me, the first, second, third values of the button functions array. All right. So for this one, what we're going to do is change it up to this stuff right here instead of this stuff right. Pardon me, this stuff right here instead of this stuff right here. So for that, let's do a little um, let's do a little technique. All right. So let's take this text and let's call it functions like that. Let's highlight it from the semicolon to the L, copy it, do a control Z to get it back to text. And then let's highlight Ghost Store, Go Cave, and Fight Dragon with the Alt like this. And this is my first time trying it. Hopefully it works. <laughs> Check it out. All right. And so it works like that. Uh, let's change this second one to a one. The second zero, I should say, to a one. And then this third zero to a two. And then let's come down here and let's do a console.log. And we're going to be doing locations, locations at zero. Whoops, at zero. And then we're going to put this stuff right after it. Let's just take this, the one at zero right here. Since if it works for the first one, it'll work for the other two, right? Let's open up the console. All right, it says function go stored. So that's what we're targeting. We're targeting this right here, which is which equals this thing right here. So it looks good. Let's get rid of this uh, stuff. Check the code. Looks good. And submit it. All right. Now we're on to step 67. And we'll see you next time.